Ahem. What was that? New postman. Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't realize. A postman? My God. That's more like it. Thank Yes, thank you. That's more like Captain it. Captain Mogans, at your service. Had I known, sir. A postman, no less. No, no. You're overdoing it. You're Why overdoing our it. prayers have been answered. Please. I'm just a man just like you. Now, how about that boat ride? Oh, of course. Right this way, your eminence. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, will there be snacks on board? Odin's horn. That's unacceptable. Here, let me tidy up a bit. Just put this over. <laughs> Safety first. Don't, don't worry about it. There, you're all set. Welcome aboard. We've had dozens of different iterations of how do we tell the audience what this place is. As we ride through town, let's have the boatman serve as our, a narrator for what's the deal with this town, right? The bell. Give it a go. What's happening? Say, Jasper boy, way to make a first impression back there. These people are lunatics. What kind of town does that? <laughs> what, the bell thing? They only ring it whenever someone has a grievance. No more than three or four times a day, really. <laughs> are you kidding me? Let me put it this way. You know how some towns are famous for their delicious wiener broad or their pottery? Well, Smearinsburg is all about the feuds. What? <laughs> Grudges and bickering, homegrown, finest in the country. It, it always felt too talky. Instead of showing, we're telling a lot of what's happening here. And the pacing is really weird because we're trying to sneak in gas between a conversation yeah. and the, the crumbs and the ailing bows have been added for centuries. Well, that's a good question. There are several schools of thought. They don't even agree on that? Why dwell on the past? They can hate each other's guts today. Okay, that makes absolutely no sense. Does here. In terms of pacing, that was really it, it was really long and too talkative. You're absolutely right. The guy and the gags are just put there, man. I thought it was interesting to say everybody fights all the time here, yep. right? And in this sequence, we made no attempt at why they fight, like we were saving that for a different okay. sequence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we found better ways of doing this, yeah. but... That uh, gag with the babies. Right. Man, that thing. And it's just so violent. Right. <laughs> uh, I cannot miss that. There was a way to make that, that work. <laughs> it just, the execution wasn't great. Yeah, yeah. This is you. Home sweet home. The first attempt at introducing the post office, right, that Jesper arrived at, and we did uh, a few things differently. <laughs> Just needs a little oil. Chickens. Perfect for animal lovers. Lots of nice natural light. We had touches. this gag of like a tour of a place. Yeah. Rustic touches. The master bedroom. Central air and panoramic views. En suite bathroom. City luxuries with northern charm. Which we liked, but <laughs> it took a long time. Yep. And we ended up doing a simplified version. Oh, wait, wait, wait! How am I supposed to go about starting a fire? <laughs> uh, I go with matches and some dry straw. But I'd seriously consider removing the goat first. Thanks. Happy to help! Okay, Mr. Ugly, let's warm this place up, shall we? But we always felt like there needed to be a history to all the other postmen that were sent to this place before mm -hmm. Jesper, right? And there need to be clues of those guys around. Yeah. And we had things like this idea of the log that there was a log, like all the other postmen would have filled in with their names, and yeah. they're supposed to log in how many letters they would have gotten per day, and just for no finds it, and like... <laughs> Not one single letter? Whatever? And we realized, 
it doesn't really carry the weight that we wanted to carry, you know, the foreshadowing that we were hoping for. I was starting to see why this wasn't the most coveted post in the country. I feared I may have been sent on a fool's errand. <laughs> How do you feel about the voiceover? Oh man, the voiceover. <laughs> I forgot we had the voiceover all through the field right. you used to have, right? Right. Jasper was always telling us what he was having in his mind, but uh, but I don't miss it. It's a rookie mistake as a writer. Yeah. I said, like, I'll do voiceover. <laughs> it solves every problem. It's kind of jarring to hear it now, going, yeah. whoa, what were we <laughs> thinking? You know? But going back was not an option. All I could do was hope that things would get easier with time. Remember we talked about there should be like... Um, um, signs of these people my favorite one that I'm I, talking I, I get, can i guess what you're talking about yes. the oh yeah run no, that, that's my I remember how jesper wakes up every morning he hits his head on the beam that yeah. was they well he only does it once in the yeah. film now <laughs> but it used to be a recurrent thing that every morning he did that when he first went to bed on the first night he looked at, so there was something carved in it but it was too dark too dark to see. he couldn't see and he couldn't see on the next yeah. morning he hits his head and when he goes to the red uh, to the red he's bathroom brushing he's teeth. brushing his teeth in front of me and he sees that he left a mark run home <laughs> on his forehead that is <laughs> super know? fair and it was like the the way that the previous yeah. postman was trying to warn him yeah. and i thought that was great that was nice. but <laughs> it was a, a bit elaborate Focus, Jesper. The name of the game is Letters. 6,000 letters to be exact. And they are as good as stamped. Watch out, Smearinsburg. There's a new postman in town. Hmm? Hmm. All right, head in the game, Jesper. Turn on the charm. Get those letters. Wait, wait. Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry, sorry. Mogan's played by uh, Mogan. Norm McDonald. Uh, he had a bigger part, and the first concept I had, like, which I love, and I hate that we couldn't make it work, was for Mogan's, who lives in this town. He's a ferryman, and he has no entertainment. Jesper and the occasional postman is his HBO or his Netflix, it's basically. Terrible. Like, like. Oh, good, a postman. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Jesper. Don't let me distract you. Oh my God. As if I weren't even here. Ah, good morning. The name is Jesper Johansson, newly arrived head postman in this lovely town of yours. If I. What's a bone man? Uh, postman. Good question. A postman is the best way to get your messages to those far away from you. Guaranteed. Give it a try. You'll see. Come on. Try me. Wait! What are you? You send messages to other people through a postman. Use me. And Use me. Literally <laughs> throw him. Throw him. <laughs> and I like that gag, but it was yeah. it was the, kind of the only one that was actually making the point. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. That's the memorable one. Right. Not going anyone. I remember we kept we kept having him encourage him not to leave because yeah, exactly. he would lose his entertainment. This very much plays with that idea that this is. Jesper is there for his amusement as exactly. far as he's concerned. Exactly. Right? Uh. Dead, no. Not a bad idea. Go ahead, Jester. Oh, no, wrong bell. I thought that was the right one. Did you know that was the wrong one? No, huh? Why, hello! Isn't this a lovely morning to learn all about how writing letters can ahem, improve your... Uh. <laughs> He's really getting the hang of this, wouldn't you say? Hey, your new neighborly postman here. Say, you have a perfectly good mailbox over here. Shame to let it go unused like that, am I right? 
Good morning. Hello there. It plays long, convoluted, and confusing. He's knocking on doors. He's trying to say send letters, and they just attacking him. Yeah. So, um, but what we're trying to say is they hate each other, and yeah. it, what we're Nothing. saying here is they hate him. Exactly. So it was very confusing. Mm -hmm. So we ended up saying no. <laughs> I definitely see a learning curve happening there. Oh my god, Wait, this house. Oh, no. No, 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 no! Hello there, I'm your. Hi! Good morning! Oh, I missed it. Could you do that again? Thanks. Right. I miss Jasper <laughs> Failing. Hey, can you do that again? And Jasper repeats it. That is yeah. very nice. <laughs> but in the end, it plays long and confusing and convoluted, so we had to find a different way of saying this. And it took, this is probably version 5 out of, True. of 12 or yeah. something <laughs> until we found a good one. Right? Go home, you loser! And I had still not delivered one single letter. I guess, I, I don't know, it was something that you had already in the treatment. It was like an old school element. Right. So maybe it was more difficult to, to separate from it. Yeah, a lot of times you, you've lived with these things for so long that there's no way that you can separate them from the story. It's yeah. so hard to realize you don't need that, yeah. you know? So they stay there for a long time and it's like, you know, at some point, is like uh, something you have to remove, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's painful. You actually do not need to know much of the history of the all the postman. Oh, yeah, I was like, really? <laughs> I was like, that would work. It, it yeah. was a surprise. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, should we move on to the next clip then?